What's up guys, 12 Weeks Out is back with another episode. Uh, today I wanted to cover a topic that's a little bit more serious than my usual video categories. Uh, I wanted to talk about Hurricane Harvey. Uh, if you don't know what Hurricane Harvey is, or you haven't heard about it, which I kind of think is almost impossible, it's a hurricane that just hit Houston, Texas, and it just left the entire place in ruin. So if you recall Hurricane Katrina that hit New Orleans, uh, it just destroyed people's lives. People lost homes, people, you know, massive numbers of people just lost their lives in that, in that hurricane. And, you know, the government was just not ready to handle those situations. And it, it was up to the people, the citizens of the United States that helped the situation and it didn't solve the problem, but it helped immensely because the government was pretty useless at that time. I decided for me, the, what I can afford is, uh, so I released an ebook a couple days ago. It basically is an ebook that's geared towards Asians that have very stiff, puffy hair that want to style it in a way that's more aesthetic looking. So, uh, if you're like me, then you have very stiff hair on the sides, and if, if it's cut short, it pokes out and it looks very poofy. Uh, if you have that problem, I found the solution to that problem. And I, you know, like, at this point, it's, it's flat, and I can style it however I want, and it's a permanent solution. So. Uh, I put that information and the solution in an ebook and I'm selling it on Amazon Kindle uh, on the Kindle platform for a relatively cheap price uh, no it's not relatively it is very cheap so the information I put on that was extremely valuable to me and I think it can benefit a lot of people with that problem but the point is for every sale that I make on that book, I am going to donate one dollar to the Hurricane Harvey Relief Fund. Uh, so if you have that problem and you purchase my book, know that some of those proceeds will go into the relief fund. Uh, if you don't want to purchase my book, that's fine. Definitely, if you have the cash to, to spare, donate to the relief fund. It's going to help save somebody. If not that, it's going to help just make someone's day just that much better. And here in the United States, more than ever, it's the time to just unite because there's just so much hate and anger towards everybody. And it just makes no sense. We're the United States. It is a melting pot. You know, it's a melting pot of all cultures. And yeah, just let go. We need to band together. We need to help our fellow man. So, yeah, do what you can. If you can help, I'm not telling you that you should throw in your life savings, but if you can spare, help. Definitely, if you do plan to help and donate to the Relief Fund, make sure that you're donating to the right source. There are a lot of scams going around, and, you know, sadly, people take advantage of the situation also. Uh, yeah, I will be donating to the American Red Cross. Uh, if you do your due diligence, then you will you can donate to another you know relief fund, and it will still go to the right place. Look it up, make sure your money is going to where it should go. All right, guys, uh, that's all I wanted to say for today. Um, yeah, just let's band together. Let's make America great again. You know, actually, not the way that Trump means it. <laughs>